Howdy folks, Justin here. Playing another game with the budget mage list. Hopping onto the ladder. Started the, uh, the deck in casual um, on Sunday night when we released those videos. Now we are taking it into the pros. It's been called up plenty of Havildar. I think I've played Havildar before. Deck list is on the left. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I respond to every comment on the videos. Playing against Scout makes sense. It's super super popular right now. Execute doesn't do a whole lot of work in this matchup. Neither does Ice Spike, neither does Lightning Bolt. We want some creatures. There we go. So Navigator, weak to Murkwater Witch, but still a fine card, especially if it draws us a card. Uh, people have asked about what I would do with this deck if uh, it wasn't a budget list. Uh, the bu the non-budget version I built of this deck runs... It, it's Instead of Scouting Patrol, it's got Descendant of Alkosh. Um, let me put this over here. Instead of... Uh, what else does it run? I think it runs Elusive Schemers. Uh, there's an Ice Storm in it somewhere. I'll play a game with it in the future. So this looks good. This looks like a potentially unopposed slaughterfish spawning. Maybe we're not so lucky. Maybe he just didn't feel like playing... Maybe he wanted to use his Magicka effectively and didn't want to play his Witch, but... Witch aside, this is pretty solid. Okay. So now we want an Execute or a Fireball pretty badly. Crushing Blow. It seems a little greedy, but you know, our other plays this turn actually aren't much better. So we're going to just keep hope alive. And have our giant fish friends joined by some little soldier fellows. <clears throat> so now what do we want? We want them to spend five or six magic on a single creature that we can piercing javelin. That's, that's the exact opposite of what we wanted him to do. Okay, how do we feel about javelining that? I think we feel pretty good about it. We're actually swinging with this one first, so if he hits some sort of removal prophecy... There we go. He has to choose to hit that one. Ooh, or he doesn't have to, and we just lost both of them. That's painful. So now we're on the burn him out strategy. <laughs> That's all we got left. Alright, alright, alright. Not really worried about that. We want to get Paladin down. And again, we want him to play a single big creature that we can hit with Piercing Javelin so we can smash him in the face for four. Shadow Shift, okay. Now we want him to play some stuff in the other lane and leave uh, this lane unopposed. Mummify. Alright, that makes sense. It's a, it's a reasonable Mummify target. Um, Cunning Ally. Can't play Cunning Ally and Paladin. We can play Cunning Ally and Paladin. And not play Javelin. This also lets us just Firebolt this down next turn, so I think that's a fair trade. Hopefully he goes face, gets us some cards. Shadowfin Priest. Yep. And Crushing Blow. Alright, so he's got... He's got a fistful of answers in his hand, unfortunately for us. The backup plan now is to draw Hex Mage and some more some more damage spells because we have run out of creatures. Our creatures are not long for this earth if we do get to play them. And it's gonna hit us for one, it looks like. Alright, moment of clarity. Don't let me down. Wow, Flesh Atronach seems great. Alright, I love a 9 9. Obviously, he can silence it, turn it into a 1 1, and uh, kill it with his Blood Magic Lord, get some Drain Life spells, and just screw up our day, but. This gives us a route to victory. 
All right, now we really don't have a route to victory, but we can ho we can imagine what it would have been like if we did. <laughs> it's just got guard creatures for days, apparently. Hmm, we actually almost, but do not have enough removal spells. <laughs> so, um, hmm. I think it's worth six damage actually just to play all these. And instantly punished for not attacking first by prophecy. Hopefully it's just two two tokens. Or fighters guild recruit. We will swing. Mm, I guess we firebolt. Well, what do we firebolt? And another prophecy from our opponent. Our opponent's really good at stacking his deck. Moonlight Whereabat. Alright. That's basically a wrap, boys. I believe we hit three out of four possible prophecies. I Spike, do you have an answer to our Hex Mage? Maybe there's still a chance. I Spike into I Spike into I Spike into Lightning Bolt. Or are we just dead? <laughs> oh, Devang. Alright. Oh, good game, sir. You played well. <laughs> Alright, we gotta kill that. And we gotta kill that. Still a chance. It involves some kind of executing that thing, swinging face, and a chain of ice spikes. Shadowfen Priest also possible card that could thing that could happen. Yep. Well, this was an exciting match. Okay. Alright. So winning not outside the realm of possibility. A lightning bolt prophecy wins us the game. <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> Hold on. By the egg, a fine battle. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Fifteen gold and a shrieking harpy. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for watching. We will uh, be playing this get deck throughout the season. Um, so far, it's stacked up pretty nicely against the Tier 1 decks, which hopefully gives people who don't have a very large collection yet some hope because um, it's a lot of fun. You can play a lot of different ways. The backup uh, kill with the Hex Mage is always on the table. And, yeah, I think the Hist Scout deck right now is one of the Tier 1 decks in the format, so... Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you all had fun, and I will see you next time.